Evening all, Rich here, back for part 5 and the final part of this MV Bloemfontein Castle tutorial. Uh, today's focus is all the finishing details basically, lifeboats, uh, the stern details, um, windows, doors and all that, the guffs, uh, cargo hatches and things. So um, we'll sort all that out, but first we're going to sort out the anchor which goes on the side of the ship, and there's of course two of these. So we're going to go down to the front of the ship and go down to the bottom of the white, so down to the front end front of the ship is here, down to the bottom of the white which is here and from there we're going to count back 16 so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and down to the bottom of the white again so that's 16 there and then down on the grey 5 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there we're going to build 3 down in black 1, 2, 3 and then 1 out to the side, 1 out to the side like that and then uh, for the anchor parts we build up uh, we'll build sort of out two and then remove a block there build out two and remove a block there and there's our anchor basically and then around the sides or around the top of the sides of the uh, anchor itself just put three grey blocks or five grey blocks there's two up one and two down there for the uh, slot that makes the anchor so there you go there's the anchor on the bow and that's my first anchor in the tutorial so there we go so that's our little job done there. I'll do the same the other side, actually I'll, I'll just copy paste it to the other side just to save a bit of time, but uh, that's the anchor there. So it was 16 back on the white, and then down 5 on the grey, and just build the anchor as I just showed. So I'll just quickly copy this to the other side. Uh, copy, uh, flip to the right, and then we paste. And that didn't work, so I've got to do that again. There we go, right there we are. So there's the anchor on that side. Marvellous, so that's the anchors all sorted. Right, now what we're going to do now is go to the front wall of the superstructure and start adding the windows to that. So the front wall of the main superstructure just behind the forecastle. And we're going to add windows to this front wall here. Now there's going to be two sets of windows because we've got a lower deck and an upper deck. So for the lower deck we want windows which are in singles. And we're going to want three across the front, or three across the main plane here. So we'll put a centre window, one block up from the bottom, and then sort of four blocks out put another window and four blocks out the other way put another window like that so you've got your three windows like that and then on the side panel we want uh, yeah, we want two on this wall here so put a, win oh, damn it. put a window and a window so there's two there and then on the outside again put a single window or we put two windows I suppose two windows there so Three windows across the front, and then two there, two there, and that's it. So do the same on the other side. Uh, put two here, and then two, two there. So there you go. So you should have uh, 11 windows across the front there. So it's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There you go. So that's the windows on the front there. And then for the upper deck, uh, we've got to sort of work out where the uh, upper deck is. So that's is that the right position? No. So we're going to the next block up. So you want to build... Uh, leave a three block gap up and then do the same again <laughs> so you want uh, central windows sort of in the same position roughly like that and then on the next two sections along we want to build the same design as below but these windows will be two blocks high so build two windows like that roughly the same position as the ones below as you can see down there but these ones are two blocks high and then the same on the next row along and there you go, so there's four, four windows, two blocks high there. And then I do the same the other side. And there we go. Bear with me a second, I'm just going to sneeze. Ugh, right, there we go, so that's uh, me sneezed and the window's done. Right, so that's those two decks done there. And then we're going to go to the last wall at the top, on the front wall here. You may have already done these ones because of the other deck of the other uh, deck houses on the top, but uh, it's up to you. If you want to do the same design, basically across the front wall, you just want three single windows again. So down from the bottom, just add a single, three single windows like so, and then one there, and then one out to the side there. So there's two out to the sides there, and then the same the other side there. So that's all you need on the uh, upper deck. So there we go. There's the front walls done there, and uh, it don't look too bad. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go to the stern and start the detailings there. So right to the back end of the ship. 
go right to the back of the uh, upper deck, basically. So we don't need to go to the stern tip. We just go to the stern or the end of the upper deck. So here's the stern. Go to the uh, end of the upper deck here. And from here, we're going to start adding hatches and things. So we're going to go from the center block on the back and count forward on the wood to the 18th block forward. So that's the first block there. And then count 18 forward. So that's 10, 15, 18. There. So on the 18th block, we'll build our cargo hatch, which is uh, thir 13 wide. So that's 12 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hang on. I've done that wrong. So the cargo hatch is 13 wide, so that is 6 on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I was miscounting all the way. So it's 13 wide there. And then the sides are 7 forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then across the front. Like so. And then the centre 5 blocks. like Similar to like the, like the ones we've done on the front. We did the centre 3 blocks. But this time... We're going to do the centre five like that, and then build this all the way across, or all the way forward, basically from back to front, front to back, whichever way you want to go, like so. And then the rest of the cargo hatch just cover up with our quartz slabs. So get those in. Apologies for my sniffling. I've got a runny nose, and I can't do nothing about it. There we go. That's that side, <coughs> and do the same this side. And there we go, that's our first, first hatch done. Right, so from that first hatch now, what we're going to do is uh, we leave a single block gap forward. So from block forward, and then go out three. So one, two, three out. No, four out, sorry. And then build rows of two. So this is a mech, basically. So it's a row of two, and then a single block gap, and a row of two. Single block gap, and a row of two, like that. So do the same on the other side. So what was it? It was one forward, and then four out, one, two, three, four, the other side, and then do the same design again. Three dashes, basically, like that. And then join them together across the top with a row of five like that to create whatever the hell is meant to be. So that's those things done there. And then um, back to the uh, cargo hatch again. And this time we want to add the crane. So we'll go back to the front of the uh, hatch again, and we're going to count forward to the 18th block forward again. So that's the first block there, and then count to the 18th. So that's 10, 15, 18. And I'll put a center block there to mark that. And then we're going to go out, uh, out eight to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. And we'll build a cross actually for the hatch, uh, for, the, for the crane. So there's the first crane there, and eight the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. So there's our two crane positions there. And we can get rid of that centre block. Now for the crane body, uh, it's going to be 19 high. So that's 1 already, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then across at the top. Like that. And then back down to the... Uh, oh, actually, on the top again, sorry. I'm going to add the little bit of wood fencing at the top. And this goes six up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a block on the top. Either black or white, whichever. So that's the crane body. And then the crane, ar crane arms. If you look at the prototype, this one only has one arm. So it's uh, sort of facing backwards. So we go to the third block up. And then we go uh, 17 rows of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, like that. And then with your iron bars or whatever rigging, you can attach the arm to the body of the hull, uh, body of the uh, crane. So I just do this quickly, freehand. And of course, the crane, uh, iron bars are a real pain in the ass to build. That's that job done there. So that's that first crane there. And then do the same on the other side. I'll do this quickly freehand. 
That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Plus the cross. And then the fence. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the black block. And then the arm at the bottom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then the arm, I just use wild edit for that one. So that's uh, replace zero with 101. And there we go, there's our two cranes added there. Marvellous, so that's that job. Right, so what we're going to do now is go back to the cargo hatch. And from there, we're going to work out what to do next. So we're going to count forward to the 28th block forward. And then we're going to add another hatch. So 28 blocks forward on the wood. So that's 10, 20, 28 there. So 28 forward, we add another hatch. Now this hatch is the same design again. So it's 13 wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that way. And 7 forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then across the front. And then the center 5 again. And just build this all the way forward. And then get our quartz slabs again. And then fill in the rest with the slabs. There we go, there's that hatch done there. Um, so that's that bit. And then what we want to do then is to add two vents either side of this hatch. So roughly, go roughly halfway along the side of the hatch and then go out four. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then build across. The fourth block is the centre of the cross, so that's where you want to go. So that's the first vent there. I just do the same on the other side. So it's four out. One, two, three, four. Like so, so like I said, it's roughly halfway along the hatch because it's an even number. You're not going to have a direct center of the hatch, but just say halfway along the hatch, go out four and build across. And these these vents are going to be facing towards the back. So we build them up to four high. So two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, plus two in the middle like that. And then get our court stairs. And we're going to build stairs facing forward times three like that. And then on the front, on the back, we want two forward, two forward, two forward, and one forward. And then our stairs on the top, bottom, and sides, like so. And there you go. There's our first hatch. And as I say, they're facing towards the stern. But it's up to you which way you want to go. You can have them facing any way you want. So I just build the other side and get everything all done. So it's two back two back, two back, one, and then slab, uh, stairs, 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 and there we go, there's those two hatch uh, vents things there, <coughs> excuse me, and then the last job for the stern at the moment, we're going to add two stairwells, so go back to the cargo hatch again, and we're going to count forward, four, hang on, is it four, no, five forward, sorry, so one, two, three, four, five, I just put a center block there and then we want to go out eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We put a block and then build back three. One, two, three. And then two wide, or three wide, like that. So basically build a square, which is three wide and the sides are three like that. So it's on the eighth block. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then build our vent like so. And then remove the center block. So it's not a vent, sorry, it's a, a stairwell. So we build it uh, sort of three high on the back there, and then three high, and then two high, and like so. And then use the stairs to make it sort of pyramidy shape, like so. So it's basically a stairwell, and then you can add a door to this bit here. There's no real use for this because it's so small, we can't really actually use it as a stairwell. But uh, 
I'm going to go with it for now just to use that design. So sort of a half pyramid with a door and that's basically all you need. So I should do the same on the other one. And then our stairs. Like so, there we go, that's our stairwell there. And uh, that's pretty much all the detail we need for this one. Uh, so that's that deck done almost. There's still a bit more to go on, but I'm going to do a jump cut first before I uh, move on to that. And then uh, we can move on to other things. So um, I'm going to do a jump cut, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the uh, single lifeboats, basically. Uh, lifeboats which go on the main deck. We'll sort those out later on, but down on this deck that we've just been working on, there's going to be a pair of lifeboats. So you look on the prototype there, just see where the crosshairs is. There's a lifeboat there. So what we're going to do is go to the front... Well, go to the end of the deck basically where the uh, this wall ends you can see this wall here with the pillars where this wall ends here we're going to count back to the eighth block back so one two three four five six seven eight and then one in like so so one in and then we build up three one two three and then sort of coming in we go up two one two inwards five one two three four five and then up four one two three four and then uh, what is it? two like so two so it's up four and then two and then outwards five one two three four five like that so there's your first gantry and then you may want to put a support underneath the, the uh, this bit here so put a support going down like so and there you go there's your first gantry and then what you're going to do then is count back to the uh, 13th block back from there so we add the second one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 uh, is it 13 or 14 no. we do 13 and we build it the same again so 3 up plus 2 plus 1 2 3 4 5 and then uh, up 4 1 2 3 4 and 2 and out 5 1 2 3 4 5 and then the support underneath as well there we are, there's our gantry which goes on this side here. And you do the same on the other side as well. So this but there's two lifeboats on this deck. And then uh, for the lifeboat itself, we go on the row of five, which is vertical here, and go to the second block in from the outside, so which is this block here. And then we build the keel of the boat, which is uh, I don't know, but that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then like that, so it's 14 long, and then two and one up at the end, like so. Same at the other end, two and one up like that. So there's your boat and the keel. And then for the boat itself, we just build the base, sort of how I'm doing it. So it's one side like that, and then out two, out two, out two, out two, and then the other side like so. Like that, and do the same the other side. It's a very simple boat, I mean, there's nothing really special about these. There we go, there's our lifeboat sort of done there. You can copy that design if you want to, but personally I'd say do your own thing really, because these lifeboats are just sort of the generic crap which I normally put out. So, we'll fill the boat up with blocks, or you can fully detail it, it's up to you, but I'm just going to put a load of blocks in here and then put a cover over the top. So there's our first boat done with uh, a coloured cover needed. So normally I do a coloured cover, so for this one we'll do red. Red is always good. It matches the funnel, so I'll do a red cover for the boat. And there we go. So there's our lifeboat done there. So you do the same thing on the other side, over on the other side there. And uh, that would be that lifeboat done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat like buggery here. I'm going to copy it to the other side. I know people don't like it when I do that, but I am the one stretch for time here. So I'm just going to quickly copy. And then we flip to the right. And then we paste. And there we go. There's the boat on the other side. So like I say, it's just me cheating a little bit. But it's necessary. Uh, so there we go, there's the two boats on that deck there. So the last job for this deck here is to add the handrails. So we get our iron bars. And then we add our handrails around the end of the deck. So 
Everything should all be fancy and hunky dory diddly diddly. All the way around to the other side, that's the theory anyway. This one is. Uh, so there we are. There's the handrails, well, almost complete. Just put them underneath the lifeboat and up to the wall there. There we are. That's that deck complete. So there we are. Brilliant, marvelous, wonderful, and all things else like that. And then we can do the same down below. So we go to the end of the wall on the lower deck on the grey wall, and we can start adding the handrails there. Now, as before, like on the bow, we've got iron bars which are going to sit on wood blocks, and I don't like that. So I'm going to remove the wood blocks in the corners here. And replace them with the grey so each section of the grey is connected and then the handrails can sit on top you can't really see it very well because of the shit colours but there we go so I just do these connect them all up and then build the handrails on top it's a usual cosmetic thing but you know so I just do this this side the handrails and then up the other side There we go, that's that deck done there. Marvellous, brilliant, wonderful. Alright, so that's the uh, that deck done. All right, now we're going to move on to the upper deck now. So go forward to the next deck, and we're going to go to the centre block of that one. And the first job is to add... Um, I'm trying to work it out, actually. We want... It says cranes here, but I don't think that's right, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it must be. So we'll go to the centre block here, of course, and we're going to count forward to the eighth block. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll put a, a centre block there. And we're going to add the cranes. And the cranes are going to be 11 out to the side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we build our cross for the base. And the same on the other side, 11 out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven build the base like so now the cranes here are the same as those ones there but the, the, but they have two arms so it's 19 high so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 plus the cross at the top and you get the idea what this is and on the top you can use I use iron bars for this one so I'll add an iron bars nine uh, five high up here that's one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, plus a black block on the top. I usually use wood ones, but I just thought because while well, I've got the, the iron bar selected, I use them like so. And then for the arm, we go down to the bottom. Third block up, we build not, uh, 17 rows of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Same at the other end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Like so, and then just use the iron bars to connect them all up. And that'll be that crane does. It's the same on both sides. So you do this, do this, the crane on the other side. I won't do that. I'm going to do a jump cut to do the other crane because I'm going to be here all day otherwise. But that's the crane in place. So like I say, do the same with the other crane on the other side. I'm going to leave that for the minute and do a, just to sort out the rest first. So go back to the center of the deck again. And we're going to add the hatch, which is from the center back wall again, 17 forward. So that's the first block there. And count forward to the 17th which is that one there no that one there sorry and the hatch itself is seven no uh 13 wide so that's six on the other side so one two three four three four yeah one two three four five six that way one two three four five six that way and seven forward one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven 
and then across the front and then the center th center five again so it's one two three four five build it all the way across the length of the hatch like so and then the slabs for the cover on the sides There we go, there's our hatch done there. Let's get rid of that centre block now, don't need that. And then um, either side of the hatch now we're going to add a pair of mechs. Uh, half, I don't say halfway along, but uh, to the side of the mech, uh, to the side of the hatch we're going to add three rows of two, like so, and then join them together across like that. So there's another pulley system there. And then the same the other side, so it's three rows of the twos, and then join them together like so. Not necessarily, or not necessary really, in you know, vital, but it's up to you what you want to do. And I think that's pretty much that. Um, maybe a skylight here or there, but I probably left them out on the real thing, um, on the prototype, so I won't worry too much about those. So that's that. I'm just going to do a jump cut now while I work out what to do next, and then finish that at uh, crane there. And then uh, we can move on to the last job, so I'm um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the other crane in place, and it should all look something like that, all uh, jumbled up. And then the last job for that deck is just to add the handrails. So we'll go down to where the uh, pillars end on the uh, promenade down here, and just add the handrails around the edge. And then we can call it a day with that deck. And then for the last job for today is to add the lifeboat. So we'll just sort that out in a minute. Well lifeboats plus handrails but we'll get the lifeboats in first and just get these sorted and there we go that's that deck sorted now brilliant marvellous wonderful and all things like that so what we're going to do now is go to the side of the ship towards the bridge wings on the front and we're going to go down to the side underneath the bridge wings and on the side here where this wall ends just below these pillars I'm going to count back on the side to the sixth block back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we build up our lifeboat gantry there. So there's going to be five lifeboats on either side. And there's going to be five sets of gantries. But the, the fifth set are similar to the ones on the lower decks. In other words, they don't attach to the superstructure. So we'll get these first few out of the way to give you an idea of what we're trying to do. So the first four pairs will go like this. So it's up three and then two and then inwards four one two three four and then on the super stretcher itself we go up four one two three four and then up two and then out five one two three four five like that so it's basically the same as the, the gantries I showed you but this one has the support of the super stretcher <laughs> and we leave a 12 block gap so count back 13 so it's 10 11 12 13 there and build the same again so it's up three two and then in one two three four up four one two three four and two one two out five one two three four five like that so there's your first pair like so and then you leave a three block gap from there and do the same again so three three gap do the same again three up two one two three four one two three two three four two and one two three four five and then the 13 block gap again or 13 blocks to the next one go up three two one two three four one two three four one two one two three four five so there you are there's the first two lifeboat stations done so you want to do two more of those along connecting to the superstructure and then the fifth one will be um like i say a freestanding one so i'm going to quickly copy these to the uh to the thing you know what's it I'll copy the, the basics first, because otherwise if I copy too much I'm going to damage the superstructure. So I'll just quickly copy these as they are. So is it a three block gap? So there we want to paste them there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, but there's our first four in place. I'll just repair the damage which has been done here. Well, there's our first gantries in place. First four. So that's uh, four boats there. And then the fifth gantry is freestanding, of course, like the like, like I was saying with those ones over there. So it's a three block gap again. And then it's up one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, inwards. And then down to the deck below. So three like that. And then it's up four, one, two, three, four. Hang on, is it up? Up two, and then inwards. Yeah, it's in five minutes though. So it's in five and then down three, sorry. And then up four, one, two, three, four, and then up two, and then out five. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. And then the thirteen block or the thirteen blocks back again, we do the same. Do it up one, two, three, and then up two, and then one, two, three, four, five, down three, and then up one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five out. There we go. So that's all five gantries in place. And uh, it should, in theory, look something like that. So you do the same on the other side. <laughs> that's the theory. And I didn't explain that very well, but uh, I'm sure you're uh, you're probably more brainy than I am, so you can probably work it out. Um, so there we go. So the lifeboat, the same as what we've done on the, on the other side as well. So it's the same crap. We just add the same gant uh, lifeboat keel from one davit to the other, plus the two and one, and the two and one. But personally, like I was saying, you just you best to do your own design with this thing because the lifeboats are an essential part of a ship, and they've got to look the part as well. So don't really follow what I've just been doing. Do your own thing and try and do it properly. So I'm going to do the first boat, and then I'm going to do I'm going to do a jump cut and sort the rest out because I. Can't, I can't be bothered building these all the time, they're so crap and just basic. So there's the first boat there, and just fill it all in with, uh, with, or whatever, with whatever. And then the carpet on the top, I used red before, so I shall use red again. And then we can call it a day for the lifeboat, so at least I can anyway. I'll do a copy paste to the other side off camera so there we are there's our first gantry done there so like I said I'll do, I'll, I'll do a jump cut and sort out the rest I'll also do the ones on the other side and then we'll call it a day there because uh, the lifeboats are very basic and not really worth the mention but you know the ship's got to have them so like I said, I'll do a jump cut now and sort out the rest and then we can move on so uh, back in a moment okay back again so there's all the lifeboats in place and it should in theory look something like that so that is that job done so the last job for this ship is to add the handrails so we're going to start the handrails well, on the boat deck between the lifeboats so I'll start at the front end and just add the handrails all the way around and it's usually this time when I have a rant about these things, but uh, I can't really rant about much at the moment. Too much going on, but there you go. But uh, if you want to build this thing on, you know, other games or downloadable projects, things like that, then just don't forget to leave leave a bit of credit for the design. I don't ask for full credit, you know. I don't say, you know, the, 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 everything's designed and built by me. Just just say, you know, I, I mentioned basically. You're building it, remember, but. Uh, don't forget to uh, remember who who the, the original uh, video recorder was, if you know what I mean. Uh, so there we go. Um, and uh, don't forget to consider becoming a patron. That's only just to help support the channel because YouTube are constantly demonetizing and well, basically there's fuck all being earned on YouTube these days. So it's very uh, got to the point where it's not worth continuing. You know what I mean? I think. The way things stand, I think if I do finish the Costa Concordia, I think that will probably be the last tutorial because it's just not worth carrying on, if you know what I mean. Um, Money-wise, it's uh, YouTube is absolute shite. But there we go. Uh, so that's the boat deck life uh, handrails done. Just do these last handrails here. And I did show the Costa Concordia, what I have done so far in the previous video. Uh, if I do finish it, there's bound to be support for a tutorial for it, so I'll probably do that. It's going to be a while, though. Um, 
but uh, yeah that's uh, something I'm not looking forward to doing because it's so bloody big it's, pretty, it's, it's probably twice the size of the Queen Mary but hey ho there we go we'll, we'll get to it one day and uh, sort of a step in the, in the right direction towards building modern ships even though I don't like building modern ships I, I think they're all ugly and I've done some damage there hang on but uh, yeah I'm not a big fan of modern ships I'm quite happy the past few months I've been building small ships I mean I've got the Batori got this one the, the Bloemfontein the SS America um, the Capricorna and what was the other one there's a few others weren't there yeah so I'm, I'm quite happy building all the small ships so um, yeah that's uh, that's that thing the, the Costa Concordia is just sort of a step in the other direction if you know what I mean but uh, there we go that is the Bloemfontein castle all sorted now the handrails are all in place all the decks are done the details are done and we can call it a day there so um, yeah, thanks for watching. It's all appreciated. Um, not really much else to say, but that is our finished project. It's only done five videos, so we're not doing too bad today. It is, or well, for me, it's Friday, but this will probably be released on Sunday. Um, but yeah, um, we're not doing too bad on it, and uh, it got quicker. Got better. Got done quicker than I was expecting. So there we go. I'm not not sure what ship to do next in terms of tutorial wise, because I've got two already completed and ready for tutorials that's the Capricorna and the Ibatori but I've not decided which one to do first so we'll just go with it and see what happens so uh, we'll leave it at that one but I'm going to leave it a couple of weeks before I do do the next one um, and then we can move on from there I'm not sure what else I'm going to do um, I was going to say the Costa Concordia is a rather large big and it's taken quite a long time to do but I am taking my time with it I don't want to screw it up so we shall see how things pan out but uh, we'll leave it at that one so this is Rich signing off logging off, disappearing, thanks for watching subscribing, commenting, moaning, complaining and all things like that, suggestions as well are always helpful um, and I shall see you again in another video so um, yeah, bye for now